Hello everyone. Welcome to the RJS Medics. I am your friend Ronak and today I am going to share some information regarding technology posture. The technology posture is also known as an hunchback. So let's begin. In the world of advanced technology, we doesn't realize that our whole day has spent just by looking at our phones. We are surrounded by screens of electronic media. I am not against any technology, but I am emphasizing its unfavorable effect on our body. Let me say that 20% of teenagers all over the globe are suffering from hunchback. Hunchback is also known as a technology posture. We would be thinking that what is technology posture or hunchback. So this is the technology posture and it is also known as a hunchback. Actually, the people while using the electronic gadgets, they put the head in downward and forward direction. This chronically leads to hunchback deformity or we can say like that technology posture in course of time. Do you know the reason that what prevents our head from dropping down? Actually the answer is muscles of neck. The muscles of neck especially sternocleidomastoid, trapezium and rhomboids. Actually this muscle supports the neck and keeps the head in upright posture. When our head is eventually balanced between shoulder or in neutral position. The weight of head is approximately 5 kg. But if you make any forward movement or lean forward, then weight increases on cervical spine. If you make the 15 degree movement forward, then weight increases up to 12 kg from 5 kg on the cervical spine. If we make the 60 degree movement of neck, that means our chin touches the chest, then weight increases up to the 31 kg from 5 kg. So as the angle increases, our muscle have to work harder and harder to keep our head in upright position. Now, I know what you are thinking. If the muscle have to work harder and harder, then what's the problem in it? Because our human body is not designed to tolerate this much of heavy weight on cervical spine. As a result, it leads to cervical spine deformity and which gives us hunchback posture. There are certain ways by which we can improve hunchback or technology posture are firstly by changing our bad habits that is avoid spending sedentary life with our smartphones and limiting unnecessary usage of electronic gadgets make sure that whenever we use our phones it should be at our eye level and without any bending of our neck make the movement of eye rather than moving the whole head downward if possible then definitely take 5 to 10 minutes break after spending one hour on electronic media just get up from a place and be relaxed make some improvement in your workspace ensure that your head must be in a neutral or normal position while working and your arms are parallel to your desk with relaxed shoulders make sure that you did not skip the blinking of eyes because some people skip the blinking of eyes while working this will definitely lead to the dryness of eyes and xerophthalmia in long term do you know the biggest problem with hunchback or technology posture is not his symptoms but definitely it's our habits so we need to change our sedentary habits definitely we have to analyze ourselves and we can reduce the unnecessary time spent on screen of electronic gadgets so at last i just want to say that look up for your phones change your habits and prevent yourself from being part of hunchback community i hope you like this information and thank you for watching